people are all, all, often so amazed at how about at the two drummer thing, uh, which which you and Jamal did. You weren't the first band to do it. I mean, the Grateful Dead were doing it before, and I know there were some other. The blues <laughs> other but nobody did it quite quite like you guys. And we were talking about that a little bit. Could, could you describe a little bit how, why it worked and the way your your different styles complemented each other? Well. It's it's hard to talk it's it's hard to talk about because it's kind of like you know if if you, if anybody here is in love with somebody can you tell me why mm -hmm. I mean you know it's just something that it, there's there's a chemistry and from day one there was a chemistry when JMO and I played together it just worked it's, it just worked it's like it's like a golf swing you know anybody play golf. You know, what's the one thing that you know? You can't think about it. You that can't Dickie think story is really <laughs> hilarious. Pardon? The story about Dickie when he wanted to go for his tea time. and uh, 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 I won't, That's a divergent. Uh, sorry. Don't get him on that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I know. You don't know why. Yeah. When it's working, no. you don't know why. Yeah. But, yeah, but, <laughs> but you, you know, know I working. played golf well. And I, I was an eight handicap at one time. So, wow. I, you know. Awesome. But then I started pumping iron. And it changed the shape of my muscle, which changed the shape of my swing. And I went from an eight handicap to couldn't break a hundred. Huh? And I asked a golf pro, I said, well, what do I do about that? He said, well, you gotta hit a few thousand more golf balls and get your swing back. I said, no, I got another option. I can quit playing the dumb game. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> so, but, but music's like that in, in the communication with J-Mo and I. It's just something that happened. I mean, I can give you some reasons. You know, we, we both started out playing rudimental stuff, playing in the marching band. Then I went toward a rock and roll direction. I was playing with a, a, a folk rock band, playing straight ahead patterns. And J-Mo, J-Mo turned into Max Roach. <laughs> I mean, when I met J-Mo, he could, ab absolutely, you couldn't tell him from Max Roach if he wanted to. Uh, I, I, I just found a solo that he played. Have you seen that solo from Love Valley that he played? My yes. God. I mean, it's one of, it's one of the most incredible drum solos I have ever. It, no, and it's not a solo, because I was playing too. But he was he was taking the lead. We used to just throw the lead back and forth when we, had, when we played duets. Neither one of us ever, would ever quit. You know, just one of us would would lay back and the other would take take the lead. And this particular one, he was just amazing. Right. I don't know how Jamal played with Otis Redding and Percy Sledge and those guys. Who I don't either. So based on precision, that's not what Jamal does. No. And he didn't like it. Yeah. He didn't like it. But you know, he had to eat. So we got to the, the Allman Brothers got.